file form. Thank you for bringing me from darkness to light, from death to life. You have given me a new life, one that desires to love and obey you. Lord, I ask that you would help me to honor you with everything that I am. Guide my every step. Lead me in how I live so that I may become more productive. Lead me in the choices that I make in Jesus. In every situation, show me your will so that I can live a life that is pleasing to you and so that I can be an effective member of your kingdom. Lord, you know all things. You know the needs of my family. You know what I need to work on in my life. So help me to trust in your ways. Be the driving force behind all of my actions, goals, goals, and words. Let it all be done for your glory, Lord. Help me to rely on you for every endeavor. Let everything I do be to further your kingdom and your glory here on earth. John 15, verse 5 says, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Lord, so long as I am in you, so long as I abide in you, I will bear much fruit. But apart from you, I can do nothing. Father, though I may water many seeds in this life, you are the one who gives me growth. You need nothing from me, and yet you desire to choose me. Thank you, Lord, that your plan does not depend on my strength, my my, my willpower, but on your grace alone. Jesus, I desire nothing more than to come before you on judgment day and hear you say, well done, my good and faithful servant. So help me be an effective Christian. Don't let me become idle or lazy in your kingdom. Don't let me become content with sitting back and waiting to one day enter heaven. Move me to action in this life. Use me to accomplish whatever it is that you desire. Use me to build your church. Use me to witness to lost souls. Use me, Lord, for your glory. Let me be a believer who demonstrates mercy, forgiveness, and kindness to others. Lord, use me to display your goodness to everyone around me. Stir me away from the slumber of a comfortable life, because the plans you have for me are so much better than anything I could ever dream. Lord, you are the potter, and I am the clay. Mold me as you will. Make me more like you each and every day. Forgive me when I fall short. And give me the wisdom to seek you first in every decision. Lord Jesus, I trust and believe that the trials you allow me to face will reveal the treasure that's inside of me. Lord, I accept that the afflictions you allow me to face will develop me and turn me into an empowered and effective member in the body of Christ within me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the honor of coming before you today. I humbly ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God. Our need was great, but God supplied this gift, this wonderful gift of salvation. And I urge you to accept Jesus Christ, accept the gift of salvation today. The Lord did not ask us to save ourselves. He did not ask us to come up with a solution on our own. Jesus Christ did it all for us. And all we must do is repent and confess him to be Lord and Savior 
and the ruler of our hearts. Mark chapter 2 verse 17 says, And when Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. If you are severely ill, it's hard to think about anything other than your illness. In the same way, before we worry about all of our minor needs, we must make sure that the needs of our souls are being met. I urge you to investigate your heart. Get right with the Lord, and then you will be better equipped in every other part of life. Too often, the cares of this world distract us from what is truly important. Psalm chapter 42 verse 1 reads, As a deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 reads, And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. With this understanding, let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for supplying every single need of life according to the riches of your grace. You have taken care of me all throughout my life and blessed me beyond what I deserve. And for that, Lord, I thank you. I praise you and my heart is filled with gratitude. Lord, this world has presented me with a list of things that I supposedly need in order to be happy and to be fulfilled. But I know that my greatest need is to simply have a close and intimate relationship with you, Lord. My soul's greatest need is you, Jesus Christ. And without you, I am lost. I am headed on a path of destruction if I turn away from you. And Father, I pray that the Holy Spirit would convict me to chase after you, to open my eyes so that I can realize how much I need you. I need you not only to save me from eternal destruction, but I need you in order to function in this life. You are the only one who can meet my ultimate need for salvation and restoration. I pray that you would never let me forget how much I need you, regardless of the blessing, regardless of the success that may come my way. I pray, Lord, in agreement with everyone listening, May the Holy Spirit move within our hearts. May we set a fire in our hearts so that we would never forget that as your children, we need you each and every day. We need you more than wealth. We need you, Lord, more than the silver and gold that this world has to offer.